Yeah. Okay. So the meal frequency, it sounds like, you know, the more you're each time you're elevating, each time you're having an insulin response, that insulin is then you're, you're getting into the fat storage. Yeah. And you will get mode. hungry. And yeah, so so as much as we highlighted that 2021 study, what I ought to have done is highlight the work of Dr. David Ludwig, um, Kara Ebeling, and others, and Shai et al. in New England Journal of Medicine in, in 2012, where there are there are so many decades worth of evidence showing that as much as we had that one study suggesting, well, the insulin higher insulin group didn't had less hunger. Yeah, there's a lot of evidence showing the opposite. So where you you end up creating this roller coaster of glycemia and hunger where the person eats a starchy sugary breakfast which let's face it most breakfasts are these days they have this big spike and then when you go high you inevitably go low and then when you go low hunger comes again even though you may still literally have food in your stomach and yet your brain is starting to sense well i'm hungry because the overall amount of energy in the blood has gone down even though there's plenty of stuff still in the stomach but it stimulates hunger that's david ludwig's main contributions so anyway it puts the person on this roller coaster of glycemia and every time it comes down hunger wants to push it back up again and so yeah i, I cut you off though but that puts them in a position to eat six or seven times a day and if they're not eating they're drinking something sugary either a soda or a sugary fruit juice Right. And and the difference between, you know, this sugary type of like breakfast you're talking about and perhaps like some something that's more of a complex carbohydrate would be the fiber is slowing that glucose response oh, sure. and, and causing some satiety as well. Um, so that would be something that you yeah. would contrast.